that celebration. You heard the impassioned speech there from Ashton Cave, the manager of the Mountain Ridge Little Leaguers. We've seen ridiculous comebacks this week. Quite a story. Drew Los Paluto is going to lead things off. He had a big double early in the game that played at three, and this is the first time they've trailed entering the sixth inning in either the regionals or here at the Little League World Series. Well, the little man came up big in the first inning with the double with the bases loaded. A new pitcher on the mound, Ed Howard, the shortstop. I guess the only time he moves from shortstop is when he goes into pitch. <laughs> That's right, because during batting practice, they said he does not move from that position. They need base runners, and having a shortstop play pitcher and field, one out for Chicago. Nevada needs base runners. Alex Parker. Shallow, short left field, and Marquise Jackson can't get it. And they have the base runner they needed. And now the tying run comes to the plate. Boy, Marquise Jackson almost thought about throwing that to first base. <laughs> Dallin Cave, the number nine hitter to follow, and then to the top of the order if they can get there. Dallin Cave already with a home run. Hey. He says it hit him. The home plate umpire says no. Dallin looks to looks to the man who believes him more than anyone. That's his that's his manager. He's got a challenge left. I think he's saying, why not use it? Mm -hmm. and this could be here. Throw Holligan against them again. And we thought because Holligan had been so dominant against this team that first go-round that we didn't know why he was asking for that. And see the call will stand. Didn't hit the hitter, batter. So Nevada's out of their challenges. But he knows his team better than anyone. He said they'd be ready for the challenge, and they certainly have been. Dallin Cave can tie it with one swing. 2-0. The eye black working. Oh, yeah. They know the look now. <laughs> Down to first off of Hondras. First and second, and here comes Nevada. Tough hop. Yeah, there's not much that Trey Hondras could do with that ball right there. Just try to keep it in front of him. And you can see the ball was struck well. In between hop. Tried to keep it in front of him, knocked it down. Josiah Cromwick is the nine hitter, Zach Hare on deck. Back to the pitcher, double play ball. Jackson, it's over. Chicago wins the United States Championship.
know if we can say enough about how these both of these teams competed today in this game. Bad break for Las Vegas and the fact that Austin Krizik couldn't go. Brennan Holligan comes out and pitches a good game. Joshua Houston doing a nice job after giving up three in the first inning. And both of these teams playing it out all the way to the end. They did. Nothing was easy for either one of these teams in Nevada. What a tremendous performance they've had this entire Little League World Series. And then Chicago gave them a lot of credit battling, staying in there, and they believed that they were going to be able to pull this one out, and that's exactly what they did. How about having Ed Howard on the mound? A shortstop by trade. He starts and makes the first out, then he starts and makes the double play as if he's at shortstop. Well, we talked about Silk. They brought him in to pitch. He filled in his position nicely and throws it to the man at second base with probably the strongest arm on the team or at shortstop. Marquise Jackson and when he has the ball in his hand watch the footwork and the strike the first base double play ball game American champions Hard to imagine what it means to the kids their families the Little League Jackie Robinson West and the city of Chicago They are the United States World Series champions Unbelievable story. They take care of the powerhouse of the West, Las Vegas, Nevada. Hondras with a home run, double play balls, some strong pitching. We'll be back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. The 2016 Olympic Games from Rio on NBC. Probably just a rubbish fire, but let's keep it in check. You heard him, let's move. Severide, rescue squad. We can't hear you out here. Mayday emergency! Mayday emergency! Everyone from the house must be one report! Report! Stand up, Chicago. Stand up for no more killing. No more killing. Stand up for peace. Chicago, stand up. I stand for my city. What do you stand for? To learn more, go to noahsartfoundation.org. Over 30 years, and they'll be featured in the championship game at 3. Our schedule starts at 10. Constellation game will be Japan and Las Vegas, Nevada. And then the Web Gems and World Series preview show, 1 o'clock Eastern time. ESPN. No more Garcia Parra, Barry Larkin. Let's recap it. What a shot from Brad Stone in the fifth inning to put his team on top. Well, the first, the first four hitters for Las Vegas. Yeah! They're feared and they should be. Brad Stone coming up with a huge hit. We're talking about the bounce back ability of Joshua Houston. The resilience of Chicago coming through, getting on top of that ball, lining and off the glove, and then finding the holes. We've seen some great throughout this entire tournament from Nevada and then one miscue by Austin Krizik playing second base. I really think that was just what was so tough for Nevada this year today. Austin Krizik being hurt, unable to start the game. And then Ed Howard coming in from shortstop. Silky smooth, catching it. Throwing it to his normal double play partner for the inning ending double play. U.S. champion. Chicago, wow. An amazing story of the kids from the South Side Washington Heights neighborhood where baseball has now moved into the front seat and all the other stuff to the back. Terrific, terrific performance by both teams and all the kids here, and it's a beautiful event to be a part of. 7-5, the final score. We'll see you tomorrow for the Little League World Series championship game between South Korea and Chicago. ABC World News with David Muir is next. So long from Williamsport.